I don't have to prove everything to everyone. I have called for a six-week uh, 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 stopping of the military action, uh, and uh, so uh, in, in order to deal with the hostage issue and in order to deal with um, uh, getting humanitarian assistance in, in a very robust way. So, well, we need a permanent ceasefire. Well, we have to have a sweep. Well, but you need to deal with uh, the military action and uh, on Israel's part to stop that at the moment. Uh, 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 the issue at the moment is let's get humanitarian assistance in, let's deal with settler violence, let's move to a two state solution, which we can do. People are agreeable to doing that and to move the Israeli government to doing that. And in the meantime, I hope internally in Israel that there will be a change of government and that we will have uh, uh, other people other than uh, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu in charge. Well, we certainly would like to see a change of government, but right. we really feel like you're not giving enough emphasis to the horrific attacks that have left over 30,000 people dead. My friend, I'm working every day to get humanitarian assistance in, to stop innocent people stop from being the killed. And uh, did you hear what yes. I said about stopping the military uh, 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 effort at, at this moment? But not to just stop the pause it. along. My, my friend, oh. you have to negotiate a ceasefire. There's never going to be a negotiation with Hamas. Never. Hamas cannot be part of a day after. And that is not the partner in this. Hamas is a terrorist organization that says, annihilate Israel and kill Jews. That's not somebody that you negotiate with. But there are others. There's the moderate Arab states to deal with. There's the Palestinian Authority, which I believe needs to be strengthened. We don't want to be supporting the Israeli government, whether it's Netanyahu or wherever come. This is 75 years of oppression. This is not just Netanyahu. My friend, Israel has every right to defend itself, as they did. Killing innocent civilians and starving them to death uh, is not defending oneself. Uh, no, my friend, if you see my statement, read it. I am doing uh, 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 briefings with uh, UNRWA to talk about them. We met with them. Are you I have, about refunding UNRWA? We're talking about UNRWA needs to have guardrails as well. UNRWA, they found 12 people. Oh. Well, you say no. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. Well, but others... Even if there were there's there's no thousands evidence. of people that work for UNRWA. There's more criminals you know, in you Congress. Don't have to, there's more criminals in Congress than in Whoa. Congress. Time out, my friend. Time out. I'll listen to you on a lot of things. Don't talk about criminals in the Congress. That okay? have broken Please. laws in America? Listen, you can... Let, let's just deal with the current issues. Okay. And you don't even know about my work with UNRWA. So you don't know, know that you didn't sign the letter to from me. last week that 50 representatives did sign talking about how important UNRWA is and that we should fund it because people are dying due to lack of humanitarian aid. I don't have to prove everything to everyone. I need to know what it is that I'm doing, how I am doing it, and the strength of my feelings about doing that. We just were lucky enough to be able to have some interaction with Congresswoman Rosa DeLora, who is very important because she's the highest ranking Democrat on the Appropriations Committee. And she told us that she just came back from talking to Blinken and others in the White House. And she's got this colonial mentality that the U.S. can decide who are the good Palestinians and who are the good Israelis. We want to get rid of Netanyahu, somebody else should be in there. And and then we'll be able to work with both the Israeli government and the good Palestinians. And it's such a crock of crap because the U.S. cannot determine who are the Palestinians who are going to be in, in charge, who are the Palestinians that have support of the Palestinian people, and they also can't determine who is going to be in charge in Israel. What we can do is withdraw our support, which is what we asked her to do, stop giving the Israelis weapons, but she wasn't going in that direction.